everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a review and unboxing of my favorite six ring key holder from louis vuitton i've had this for about a week now and um so this isn't a real unboxing i just put everything back in the box that it came in just to show you what it comes with and all of that so to get right into it of course it comes in this Louis Vuitton bag and then it also comes with a envelope about this size with your receipt and the authenticity card and all of that I don't know where mine is it's not in here but that's just pretty standard regular information anyways so when you get it it comes in this little box and there's this nice ribbon at the top corner so i'm just gonna open it for you and then this is the pull tab box so when you open it it comes with the little dust bag like this and then when you take it out, it also comes with the little sticker and barcode and then a little card that says coated fabric cowhide leather lining. Yeah. And then this is the beautiful key holder. I got this in the monogram print with the brown interior. So it's just a snap button opening and then here we have it. It's got the six key rings and then a slot in the back to put a couple cards. And then over in the front here, it says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. So, there's, I don't know if you're able to read it, but it's that. And again, I've had this for about a week now, so I have been using this every day and it's been amazing. This is one of those pieces that I think I'll just use every single day until it just falls apart because I've always wanted to have a key holder instead of keeping things on a keychain like I usually do because I've started to get really frustrated with the keys just kind of mixing around with all my stuff in my bag and scratching up the inside of the bags and whatever's in there gets all scratched up from the keys. So I've always really wanted a key holder to keep everything safe and to have a spot to put my keys so that's why i love this this is actually my first piece from the designer and i love it the canvas is very high quality and definitely strong enough to withhold everyday use with my keys being in here and it being in my bag and hanging off of my car when i'm driving so that's been great the one thing that bothers me a little bit about this piece, I don't know if it is with all of them or if I just got unlucky with this one, but the alignment, if you can see, this side you can see like the point there, and then on this side the point is there but it's much smaller. So it's definitely aligned more this, this way. So I don't know, and then you see on the button, it's not perfectly in the middle there. And then when you open it up, it's the same with the button. It's not exactly centered. It's a little bit on one side. So that's the only thing though that I've noticed with this. It bothered me a little bit at first and I was contemplating returning it and getting a new one, but I think it's fine. It's not really something that I'm going to care about that much. I've already gotten used to it, so it doesn't bother me anymore. But that's just one thing to keep in mind. If you go into the boutique, just make sure to check it. And if you buy it online, just make sure that all the little details are to your liking. Because you are spending quite a lot of money on this, so you want it to be in a perfect condition. But anyways, so... I'm going to just show you me putting the keys into here because when I bought this, I didn't even know how to put the keys onto the key rings. And I don't know if some of you don't know how to put the keys directly onto this because what I did before was just put the key rings on like this, like just having it in here. 
But, so basically, you have to, okay, you have to push down on the end here. Okay, so you push down and then you slide the bar out like so. Okay, so then you just have this. And then you have this. So then you just take each of the hooks out like so. And you can just start putting your keys right on it. Okay. So this is just one of my house keys. And then for my car key, it's just one of these normal car keys where it's like a fob and then the, the key part sticking out. And there is a way that I could just put the loop directly into here, but it's pretty thick and I just don't want to damage the hook and the key holder. So I just got this little mini ring and then it just makes it much easier to just hook it on there. So then I have all my keys on like this and the nice thing about this is that you can just easily remove the hooks and then you can move stuff around or take a key off briefly if you need to but um, yeah they just hang nicely on here. I like to keep my car key on the far hook and then all my house keys on the other side just so that there's enough room in between. And then to put this back on, you basically just have to push it, push it in the way that you took it out. So you just push the little end down and then you slide. And then you just slide the bar back in like so. Okay, so now you can see what it looks like with my keys in here, and yes, my car key does dangle out the end, which is a little bit annoying, but I know that my next car, I'm gonna get a push to start car, so I won't really have this issue, so I don't mind having it like this for another year or two. But to close it, it's just like that, and then this key is sticking out like I said, but you can push it in a little bit. So it could actually be more like this if you'd like. And then it's barely sticking out. So that doesn't bother me. And then what I also like to do is I'm a card holder person. I don't really like having big wallets and I don't really carry cash or change around with me. I just carry my driver's license and maybe a credit card or two. So this is perfect for me. I didn't even think I would use it like this, but I just keep my driver's license and one of my credit cards and I just sneak it in the back here. Now you can't even see it. So this is kind of all I really need when I have to leave the house really quick or go run some errands. I don't even need to take a whole bag or a wallet or anything. All I need are my keys and my credit card and my driver's license. So it's all right here. And this back here can fit probably around five cards, but I just don't want it to stretch out. So I just keep it to two and sometimes I'll put a third one in there and it's not a problem. And I haven't noticed any kind of wear on the sides here at all or um, from closing and opening this or having it be too thick or anything like that. It just kind of sits like this. This um, top lip here is a little bit open, but it's been like that since I bought it and that's just kind of how it's made. So this is still in perfect condition. I don't have any complaints about this and I'm very, very happy. 
I got this as a present from my boyfriend for our anniversary last weekend. So we were in Toronto and just went straight to the Louis store. So when before I bought this, for some reason I imagined it being a lot smaller. I'm very happy that it is this size though because it is able to fit my cards and everything in here. That is my review of the Louis Vuitton six ring key holder. This retails for I believe $250 US and I think that this is a perfect piece especially when you're just starting your Louis Vuitton collection or you're just um, dipping your toes into the luxury designer goods market. It's definitely a great piece to have. From here you can move on to bags and all that other stuff but this is just a really special piece that I don't ever see myself not using. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single Tuesday and Friday. So hit the bell notification if you'd like to be notified every time I do post. So yeah, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and a great weekend and all that. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.